let's take a walk to the beach. Around here, the water's too cold to swim in. Plus, the waves would toss you around if you tried. And the beaches are mostly rock anyways, so what's the point in coming? You'd be surprised how much lives in the wave-battered rocks. Between the high and low tide lines lives a flourishing combination of organisms that are found nowhere else. The barnacles encrusting every rock aren't dead. They're just waiting for the tide to rise enough that they can open up and strain plankton out of the water. There are anemones, closed up tightly in crevices in the rock. Predators, like sea stars, wait below the waves to get at the mussels and clams on the rocks above. Fish, seaweed, and other organisms are busy living in tide pools. And the best part of rocky intertidal zones is that they're so easy to access. Rocky intertidal zones are excellent places to walk and observe wildlife, because they are easily accessible on foot. Ecosystems in rocky intertidal zones are also often more complex than those in sandy areas. What's not to like? However, when you visit an ecosystem, you don't leave it exactly the same as when you came. Even the simple act of walking, done over and over by many tourists, can harm or kill plants and animals that aren't adapted to the stress. Turning over rocks or logs to look for organisms underneath can also crush them, or cover up algae so that it can't photosynthesize anymore. Because many rocky intertidal zone creatures make use of their environment to survive the pounding waves, Disrupting their environment may get them swept out to sea. Another common tourist practice, removing seashells from the beach, reduces hermit crab's habitat. Other human activities have also hurt the rocky intertidal zone. Runoff can flow through beaches containing fertilizers, pesticides, herbicides, litter, or particulates. Fertilizers cause algal blooms that deplete oxygen and nutrients. Pesticides and herbicides can kill off organisms and litter in particular to prevent organisms from getting sunlight or oxygen, often killing them. When you visit a rocky beach next, be mindful of your actions, because they matter. If we make sure not to damage them, rocky intertidal zones will continue to flourish on the edge of the ocean, 